Hey, this is Chris from VFX on and welcome to tutorial in which we are gonna I'm gonna show you how to make a swinging text. As you can already notice, I'm, English is not my native language. So, let's jump in. So first off, start new composition. Um, I'm using 1280 by 720, uh, 30 frames per second, 4 seconds long, click OK. You know, you can make your own settings as you wish. These are just mine, you don't have to, you know, make them same as mine. Next, grab the text tool um, and type your desired text. I'm gonna type what I'm gonna type. Um, okay, that's, that's, that's it. I'm gonna type what am, what should uh, I type? question mark okay so let's make the text a little bit smaller like this I'm gonna I'm using the Eras Demi ITC um, font I don't know if it's on, on you know on by default I don't remember if I installed it separately but it should be free you know I don't know just you, you, you know you don't have to use the same font as I'm using you can use whatever you like so I'm just gonna stick around with this one now what we should do is we should make this text 3D layer. If you don't see these um, switches all here, you can go down here and press toggle switch, aka modes. You see. So click on this 3D box. Uh, make sure it's checked in. Then um, click on your keyboard R key, and it should bring down these positions, rotations, blah blah blah. So. Um, let's see which rotation should we do. No. Yep, we are gonna go with X rotation. So we have to move this um, X Y Z thingy to the middle. I don't know how it's called. So yeah, as I said, lang English is not my native language, so I may not know all the words for it. So. Um, to move it, I usually you can select this thing here, but you know I usually just press the Y key on my keyboard, and I just move it to the point I need it. So we have to move it about the middle of our text. You can see on these um, squares, you know I move it on them there because that gives us the better look. So it's kind of swinging. See? Yep. So as that's done. We we may start our um, tutorial of how to make that swinging text. So click this stopwatch to make a keyframe, and let's move our text from how we want it to swing. I want it to swing about at the position so I cannot see it, and then let's move about let's say to about half a second, and let's bring it down. Um, so to make this look like a real motion, we have to sort of over swing it. I'm gonna over swing it to let's say uh, 26, and then let's move forward a bit and let's swing it back. And I'm gonna swing it as as the previous keyframe is minus 26. Um, this keyframe will be plus 13. So it's kind of I'm kind of dividing the number of of the previous keyframe. Where is that 13? Come on. Oh, here it is. So, 13. So, next one, as you guess, should be about, let's say, minus 6. Okay, minus. Well, let's leave it at minus 7. And the next one, um, let's see. Let's set it to plus. Th let's say plus 4. You know, really doesn't matter that much. So plus okay, let's leave it plus three because <coughs> that's the first one that jumped out there. Now move a little bit forward. We can make it like minus like one here, and then the last keyframe should be zero. Okay, so let's look how how does it all looks right now together. Um, you can click the ramp preview here. If you don't have this RAM preview panel, you can go window, and it should be here. Or you can just simply click Control, Control plus three, um, 
I don't know on Mac what's the comment I think it was comment 3 I don't know um, anyway yeah there is if you don't have it you can click this or you can on your keyboard keyboard press um, numpad 0 so that kinda looks I think it looks kinda it kinda looks okay I guess so but I still want to do a little bit of thing here so select all of these keyframes except for the first one um, click on them with her right mouse key and click on easy ease or you can just simply press F9 on your keyboard um, next I wanna make sure that the motion blur is on so tick this box here and over here too so you can see that so let's see how does it look it kinda looks I Okay, let's see the motion for a couple of times. I think it looks okay. So, pretty much that's, um, well, it kind of looks like it's all of the tutorial, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, let's say I want the but to swing first, then she comes should, and then I, and then you can type. So, let's grab the mask tool here and let's mask out the text we want to see what and then we can just simply duplicate this um, re let's rename this to what and let's rename this to should and just simply move the mask to next word so where does the should and so it ends about here this is just a quick tutorial I'm not gonna like do any kind of you know um, effects on it just a simple basic thing how to do it so um, let's say that I wanted to swing you see that they both kind of swing it kind of looks nice actually see or maybe I should like leave it a little bit later like let's say it swings about like here so that when it comes down you see what should and then but like I think it should actually go on about like a little bit you know further like like here so let's duplicate this layer again let's rename what should I um, then move the mask to next Heather, which is I, and um, make sure in the mask. And the mask is the eyeliner. So where where can we see? I wanted to make so that the next letter shows up, but you can pretty much read the following text, which is should. So um, the I should come down about like like here, where you can already like. Well, actually, let's let's leave it there. So see, it's kind of like this next is the type um, let's make it type so let's move it this a little bit further and for the next one I'm just gonna make sure that um, I want to have each letter separately there from for the type to show up so pretty much the first letter is T and I want it to show up only the T um, so, as you can see, you really cannot mask out the text. You know, that's kind of. Oh, let's see if we can do that. Okay, well, anyways, I don't want to do that. So, I'm going to click this um, pen tool and click somewhere about like here. And just drag this point like that. So, yeah, you can easily add, edit stuff. Um. <coughs> edit stuff you know with a mask it's pretty easy so I comes about like here so I want this T to come there so let's make it T duplicate well you pretty much got the point you know of this <coughs> of how we are gonna do it so um, you may add you know some uh, specific motion blur for you know effects to make it look more cool 
um, but I'm going to stick around with the simple one. So, the T comes down about here, so I want the Y to come at that point. So let's rename this to Y. Um, sorry. So, um, anyways, yeah, the Y should drop about like there. It looks kind of nice. Nice and needy. Um, like that, so let's duplicate the Y. Let's move on to the next letter, which is B. I know, I know that probably for you guys it sounds really weird as you listen to, to my um, English language, which is I can't say. You know, it's not. You know, it's not good. <coughs> but I'm trying to improve, and I hope I will improve. So, yeah. If you have, you know, like I said, if you have anything to say like to you know to help me improve I would really really appreciate appreciate if you could help so yeah so let's rename this to B and let's again duplicate move forward uh, which is I th which is the next letter is E so let's mask that um, what's that? Or there's a question mark. Ho 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 ho. What's, what's, what's he's doing there? So, yep, like this. Uh, this should look, this looks good, I guess. So, the P comes down about here, so I want like that. <coughs> so let's rename this to E. If you can't rename things, I know this was the thing that I could not figure out when I first started using the After Effects, as I could not rename the layer. You know, I tried to double click it, nothing worked. I was like, like how do they do it? How how can you rename a layer? Basically, what you do <laughs> is you select a layer and you press Enter, and that's that's the all magic. And unfortunately, I had to figure that out by myself. And yeah, it kind of pisses me off, but but you know it, it was it was my own way of learning things. So the last one is question mark, and <coughs> let's mask it so you can only see the question mark here. Like that looks fabulous. Looks very nice. <laughs> so, but what I'm gonna do with a question mark is so that when the eye drops down I want the question mark to drop down too so it kind of looks like this so let's see in the full preview how does it look kind of looks nice although I think the um, letters should be more um, together so here comes the T say there comes the Y then comes the B and then comes the E I think this kind of would look better let's see so what do you guys think I think this looks good I'm gonna stay with this so um, that's a pretty much basic tutorial how to create a swinging text um, you know just like that I, it, it would look cool if you could like attach sort of like a string here and it would really really be nice and stuff so yeah um, leave a comments down below you know if you have any suggest suggestions on how can I improve not only you know my my English language but like my tutorials or you, if you have like any idea for a tutorial please leave a comment down below saying that also I would really really like to check out what did you create from this um, uh, you know and please you know thumbs this up thumbs this up um, favorite if you like it um, subscribe if, if you want more and you know I just like doing this so if you if you like if you enjoy my tutorials and like them just you know please uh, thumb it up at least so 
so yeah that that means a lot to me so thanks for watching and see you on the next tutorial bye